Hello and welcome to the Westcott Spa and Resort. My name is Emily. Um, today I'm going to be talking a little bit about uh, heart healthy foods and the Mediterranean diet. I'm going to start right first. I'm going to start searing my chicken breast. I have a really hot pan going with some olive oil in it. The dish that I'm going to be making for you today is a lemon garlic pasta with a seared chicken. This chicken breast I have going, uh, it's just lightly seasoned with some salt, pepper, paprika, and garlic. It's a really simple dish. We're just going to try to get a nice golden brown sear on both sides of the chicken breast. Uh, so while this is cooking, I'll talk a little bit about the Mediterranean diet for those of you who are not um, as familiar with it. They have a really big emphasis on eating fruits and vegetables, uh, so primarily eating a lot of plant-based foods uh, like fruits and vegetables with whole grains, legumes, trying to use um, olive oil instead of butter, reducing the amount of um, high-fat dairy you're using, and also um, trying to not use as much red meat and go with leaner meats such as poultry items and fish. So I'm going to flip the chicken over, nice sear on that, all right, so we got a nice golden brown crust on it just so everyone can see that nice crust on the chicken. We're going to put it in the oven. So we're going to cook that chicken for about 10 to 15 minutes or until it reaches an internal temperature of 165 degrees. Now in this same pan, I'm going to add in um, some onions and some garlic. We're using the same pan to uh, use all the flavor that we just got from searing the chicken. So while we are um, sauteing these onions, we're looking for a translucent color to know that they're all caramelized and we have gotten the sugar out of them. So the Mediterranean diet has been proven uh, by a lot of different studies that it does have, uh, is helpful in reducing the risk of developing cardiovascular disease. The New England Journal of Medicine actually did a study on it. They did a study uh, with men and women. They are about age 50 to 80. Um, they, all of these people did not have cardiovascular disease, but they had risks for the disease. These risks could be things like um, being overweight or obese, having type 2 diabetes, um, or having a family history of cardiovascular disease. Now I'm going to add in tomatoes and mushrooms. Both tomatoes and mushrooms are really functional ingredients. Um, mushrooms are really high in vitamin D and iron. Um, they're low in calories, low in, they don't have any fat in them, so they really are there to can boost up the flavor. And then tomatoes are really high in vitamin C, and they contain lycopene, which is an antioxidant, um, which is helpful in stimulating the immune system to help fight off disease. All right. Going to add a little bit more olive oil. Olive oil is a really nice alternative instead of using butter. Um, olive oil, olive oil is um, low in saturated fat and high in monounsaturated fat. After I get all these vegetables nice and cooked, I'm going to add this whole wheat linguine pasta. Whole wheat pasta um, is something that they promote through the Mediterranean diet. It's a good source of fiber, which can help lower your cholesterol. My mushrooms are almost done. Now we're going to add some white wine. That's to deglaze the pan. We're going to get all of the flavor that we've been sauteing in here from searing the chicken. Hear that nice sizzle. That wine is in there not for the alcohol content, but we're just trying to get the flavor from it. So we're going to cook that down and reduce it to get rid of all of the alcohol. I'm also going to add some lemon juice. And while we're going to let that reduce a little bit. Study that I talked about before, the um, American Heart Association, Association did a uh, similar study. Uh, they also, they, the same study came up with the same conclusions that the Mediterranean diet re reduces your risk of cardiovascular disease. 